hello friends in this video i will explain uh, the flowchart of dpr the second part so once the inception report and the quality assurance plan has been done what we have to do okay so this is the next step to the flowchart of dpr so once these reports has been submitted we have to do we have to freeze the from param some parameters nothing but scope and uh, that investigations what are the investigations we have to continue means the starting point ending point various parameters you have to freeze first okay uh, before doing any further investigations okay you have to do some uh, some extra report also and uh, you have to continuously discuss with the client and get a approval for the further process okay so once that is done you have to do very very important step that is data collection data is everything without data uh, we can't proceed any further so in data collection there are two types one is uh, uh, what to say existing data and uh, other is what you have to get it from the road means uh, from the project itself so one is uh, detailed historical data is nothing but uh, that land plans all those things i will show you one by one so then the other one is material investigations so in data collection only it will come material investigations mean nothing but uh, where we will get the aggregates and uh, cement uh, uh, fine aggregate and sand all those things where we will get that material investigation also you have to do after that alignment option alignment option report is very very important so you align an alignment options you have to fix the bypasses and uh, you have to do some site site proposal also so once the alignment options has been finalized you can proceed for the horizontal alignment design okay so we'll go to the detailed historical data what is the detailed historical data one is very very important topo sheets topo sheets are the survey of india has been done the major survey and it includes all details not only road it includes the levels also and uh, land plans everything i'll show the example so topo sheets you can see this is the from survey of india website you can get it using other card or else uh, directly you can get it free downloads are also available you can see have a look so they have divided as zones rajasthan area see here you can find out the road details okay and the levels also and the main power line telegraphic everything so many details are there this will be useful for the some hfl data if not available from the uh, concern department you can find out it from the here and you can find out the villages name also suppose some mm, so many details will be there okay this is just a free downloaded version if you uh, get collected from the survey of india with some cost you will get more, more other details also so this is the topo sheets after that <coughs> what you have to do town planning okay? see if you are doing a town plan town project so you have to collect the town plan maps also so this is these also very very important okay Just land plans one of the major uh, thing in a road project land acquisition without land acquisition we can't process the construction so for to get to prepare a land acquisition plans we need revenue maps revenue maps in revenue maps we have to uh, digitize i already prepared a video on that how to do that uh, how to prepare a land acquisition schedules okay you can have a look like this something like this here you can see row within the within our how many are coming uh, what is that number the all things we have to prepare okay once that is done you have to go for the material investigation in material investigation very very important schedule of rates schedule of rates means each year it will change so accordingly you have to collect i already kept a video on rate analysis so in SOR, SOR is very very important for rate analysis and then cost estimate okay schedule of rates will get collected from the pwd department okay concerned the district pwd so then lead charts lead statements also you have to prepare and then query charts means how much is the lead from uh, your uh, base point to the uh, quarry location 
and then for, for uh, all types of uh, materials fine aggregate whether it is uh, coarse aggregate or else uh, bituminous bitumen uh, so for all types of materials how much is the lead statement how much is the uh, distance that that you have to prepare okay that you have to collect it okay then alignment option report in alignment option report what you have to do you have to submit options you have to prepare suppose if this is the alignment existing alignment and uh, you have to provide options bypass options one by one left uh, left is how much length if you go on the right how much it will cost that uh, small report uh, of five to six pages you have to prepare with land equation if suppose uh, if you go in this manner how much the ROW required 60 meter so length into that 60 meter so that will you will get area like that if you go through existing you can't provide the 60 meter ROW so it will vary some like 40 30 35 like that so accordingly you have to range it and you have to rough estimate so accordingly you have to propose or you have to include all the cost land acquisition cost if structure comes structure cost and all cost you have to include it and you have to conclude the alignment option once the alignment option is done you have to give a presentation means in this area this uh, bypass is required in this area we can go through the existing this type of uh, presentation you have to prepare and you have to give it to the client once we will get the approval okay then only you have to proceed for the survey topographic data before that don't go for the topographic survey okay topographic survey in google earth you can do very easily that alignment options okay that uh, after that you have to prepare a presentation and submit it once the approval everything will be fine okay later part i will explain more uh, thanks for watching please subscribe my channel